Under the theory that the harder someone tries to sell you something, the higher the chance is that that something is not a good idea, time to raise the radar. A barrage of advertising is underway with a sunny sell of Amendment 1. The so-called Solar Amendment is the first constitutional amendment question you'll see on the ballot next month, and it is not what it appears. And that becomes clear just by breaking down the ballot question. The first sentence, establishes a right for consumers to own or lease solar equipment installed on their property to generate electricity for their own use. Well, you can do that right now, today. That changes nothing. So next, state and local governments shall retain their abilities to protect consumer rights and public health, safety and welfare. Well, government has that ability right now. That's what government is supposed to do. So then there's the last part, to ensure that consumers who do not choose to install solar are not required to subsidize the cost of backup power and electrical grid access to those who do. So that does not happen now. And that last part is left vague enough to leave you wondering why it would. This is a scare tactic. So what would the solar amendment do? Well, it would give the electrical monopolies the ability to prevent you from getting credits and savings if you do decide to install your own solar and then give the extra power you make back to the greater <coughs> grid. The amendment makes it a deterrent in some ways for people to help grow Florida's solar industry. And that is why Florida Power and Light, Duke Energy, Gulf Power, Tampa Electric, they are all funding the political action committee that's spending tens of millions trying to sell you on voting for the amendment with a confusing message about it being good for the environment and the economy. The only thing Amendment 1 will do is protect the profits of the very monopolies that currently have you locked into paying their bills every month. So, what do you think? We invite you to weigh in on any topic you like. You can do that by email, Facebook, Twitter, at any of these addresses. We're easy to find, and we will get back in touch with you. Remember, stay informed, get involved. Have a beautiful Sunday. Stay dry.